So here's the process. You're gonna see it right there at the top left. You're gonna see what do you want, what do you have, what's the connection? Red, yellow, and green. So what this means is step one, what you want is the goal of the question. What's the question that you're being asked to find? And we see that right here. What time will it be, or excuse me, what day and time will it be 61 hours from now? So when you start with the question, you know, the point of it's 8.38 a.m. on a Saturday, that's moot. That doesn't matter right now. What matters is, what are we walking into? What do we need to get out of this situation? And what we need is the time and the day, 61 hours from whatever right now is. Now, party people, does that make sense? Yes or no? Again, just start off with the goal. We want to know what day and time it's going to be. 61 hours from now. That's all I care about. That's my only concern. Cool. Sounds good. So once we know our goal, then we're going to look to see what information we have to work with. Because whatever, what time we're dealing with, we're adding 61 hours to it. That's all that matters right now. Just add 61 hours. So we are told very straightforward. It says it's currently 8.38 a.m. on a Saturday. Okay, sounds good. So we'll say that the current time right over here is going to be 8.38 a.m. And we'll write Saturday. Sounds good. Nice and easy. Now, here's what we're going to do next. We're going to add the 61 hours. Now, there's a way that we can add the 61 hours and still have this make a lot of sense. And here's what we can do. My party people, do we wanna, or can we even see obviously what plus 61 hours is? Not really. You know, the average person won't be able to look at that and say, yeah, 61 hours from now is gonna be blank, blank, blank on this day. No, the best way that we can handle this is understanding how time works. My party people, notice that we have an hour and a day. How many hours until we repeat the same day? How many, hour, how many hours until we repeat the same time? Yeah, 24 hours. Sounds good. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say, hey, if I'm looking at 61 hours, let me ask myself, yo, how can I make this as easy as possible? Well, if I add 24 hours, that's just going to be one day. So I know that if I add 24 hours, hey, I'm just repeating the same time on the next day. Well, guess what, everybody? Uh, how many times does 24 fit into 61? Can we add another 24 hours here? W will that fit in? Will that fit in? Yeah, it would. Because everybody, help me out. What's 24 hours plus 24 hours? How many hours is that now? How many hours is that now? That's 48 hours. So yeah, that's not 61 yet. We're not at 61 yet. So we have another day. And so if we were to add another 24, now we would go over. That's too much. Because 48 plus 20 is 68. That's too much. So how many hours are left over, my party people? Leon gets it. How many hours are left over? Because we have 24 and 24, that's 48. But how many is left from 48 to 61? From 48 to 61, what's left? That's 13 hours. And we can show that and prove that right over here. If we just say, hey, 61 minus 48, we can borrow if we need to, no problem. And we say that we have 11 minus eight, that's three. Five minus four is one, 13. So we have 13 remaining hours. So here's my logic, everybody. Here's my logic. To get to the 61 total hours, we can make our lives very easy because we can add 24 hours because that's just gonna be the next day, same time. Add 24 hours again. Again, that's gonna be the same time the next day. And then we add the 13 hours. That'll be honestly the hardest step, which actually won't even be that hard at all. Yes or no, do you agree with my game plan? I'm gonna add 24, add 24 again. So that's just adding two days. And then we'll add the 13 hours at the end. Yeah, cool. So let's see if this plan is sensible in practice. Let's try it out. So let's bring it over here to our little makeshift table. And we see that at the top, we have 8.38 a.m. on the Saturday. That's written down correctly. So if we add the first set of 24 hours, everybody, 
what day and time do we have 24 hours later? What day and time do we have 24 hours later? Hit me. Right, it's gonna be Sunday, what time? 8.38 a.m., exactly. We don't have to worry about the time because 24 hours is just the very next day, the same exact time. So cool, we have 8.38 a.m., but now it is again Sunday. Now, if we add another 24 hours, my party people, we have 8.38 a.m. on what day? That's right, it's gonna be Monday, 8.38 a.m. On a Monday. All right, sounds good. Now let's go ahead and show the final step, which is gonna be adding the remaining 13 hours. Adding the remaining 13 hours. Now here's a good way to kind of split this up. Everyone, if we go 12 hours, well, that's just gonna be the same exact time, except it'll be p.m. So again, we have a.m. right here, but if we add 12 hours, that'll just be p.m. So what I can do to show this very clearly to everybody out here, we can say plus 12 hours and plus one hour. Because if we do that, guess what? We'll go ahead and if we add 12 hours, it'll be 8.38 p.m. on the Monday. And then if we just add one more hour, everybody, what time is our final time? If we add one more hour, what's our final time? 9.38, be specific. 9.38 a.m. p.m., what day? We have 9.38 p.m. on Monday. That's right. And there we go. It doesn't have to be super complicated. We can break it down into the time frames that we know are repetitive. Every 24 hours is the same day, same, uh, the next day, same time. 12 hours would just be flip the a.m. to p.m. If it's already p.m., well, you go to the next day for a.m. So we have to think about it naturally as we can, but our final answer will end up being 9.38 p.m. on Monday. My party people, even for those of us that were stuck, who didn't exactly see how to get there as quickly as possible, does that make a little more sense for you? Oh, I see. <laughs> nice, good. Good, okay. Who else? There we go. Nick, I was waiting for somebody to say it. Waiting for somebody to reveal that. Yeah, the plus 13 may have thrown you off, but again, 13 is just gonna be 12 and one. So you can add the 12 hours, make that easy, then add one more hour, for sure. So when we take a look at the answer choices, my party people, think about what we just said. We talked about if we go every 24 hours, that's gonna be the same time next day. If we go 12 hours, that'll be from a.m. to p.m. and you think about what to do from there. However, everybody, did anything that we did, did anything that we did change the actual minutes? Did anything that we did change the minutes? No. So if it's 8.38 a.m. on a Saturday and we add 61 hours, which of these times is the only time that it could possibly be since we never changed the minutes? Which of these is the only answer that could be it? C. C is the only answer that could even remotely make sense if you already understand that if all we're adding is hours, that minute hand is gonna stay the same. And so we can immediately say that the correct answer is C. It's the only answer that doesn't or that has 38 minutes. This one doesn't, that one doesn't, this one doesn't. Immediately, they're all wrong right away. And now that you're done with the video, we have our full program for free for a full week, no credit card required. I want you to get access to all of the live classes, practice problems, and support every step of the way. And I'm here to prove it to you. Go ahead, text TRIAL to 833-321-0182, and you're good to go.